Hey guys, welcome to another video today. What I want to talk about today has saved me so much time and for anybody that watches any of these tutorials that I do and all of this stuff that I put out there, uh, you're probably starting to learn that I'm I try to be very, very efficient. I don't like to waste time, and I just like to get things done. That's why a lot of times I just jump right in to the material. So that's what I'm going to do today. I want you to go to skyfonts.com and download this if you do anything with any Adobe application. Skyfonts is a font manager, and if you're not familiar with this, um, imagine going out to the web and finding your font, then downloading your font, then once you get it downloaded, going to your downloads folder, installing the font, and having to go through all of that just for one font, just to see if you like it. Well, Sky Fonts will let you do it um, really easy, and I use this a lot for Google Fonts, um, and it's really simple to use. It's easy. You can have uh, Photoshop or After Effects, whatever program you're using, open and the font will load in the background and, and allow you to use it. So um, I'm just a really big fan. I'm not sponsored by Skyfonts or anything. They're just a really good piece of software. So uh, if you go to skyfonts.com, you'll get this download option. Now they do have this for Mac as well. I'm just on a Windows, so it's giving me that option. And I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to go through the download options. But what you do is just download this. It'll go into your downloads folder, and then you're going to have it on your taskbar. So if you come to your taskbar, you can see that you've got kind of this S look. And um, you may have to create a account with fonts.com um, in order to be able to use it. It's a free account. It doesn't cost you anything. But you can just create that. And then once you get it installed, you can right click on this, go to site, and then go to Google. And what this will do is it will open the Google fonts. Let me pull this out here for you. Uh, it will open this Google Fonts tab, which will allow you to search through the Google Fonts database uh, for any fonts that they have. And when you want a new font, let's say you know the name of it, you can start typing this here. So if you want to use something like uh, Pacifico, you know, you can just start typing and it'll come up. You can also, you know, search by letter. You can search by t top 10, top 20, top 50. You can also do a batch install if you want to install mul uh, multiple options. Now, Google Fonts is... Uh, I came with a video a little while ago about Google Fonts, and they've gotten a lot better with their interface to download fonts. This I still find is even quicker. So uh, once you find your font family, what I want uh, you to do is just go and look through one, pick one that you want. So let's just pick this Abazi. You click on Sky Fonts, and then you can use this option for Add Entire Family. Now when you do that, it'll add any of the families that are on here. So if there's regular, italic, bold, it'll add all of those. If this is unchecked, it's only going to add one, um, one font. So just whatever weight this is. So you can click on Add Entire Family, and I just want to show you this in action. So let me open up Photoshop, and I'll show you when I install it. I don't have that font installed, so we'll just work with that one. Um, now, another thing is, if you haven't updated to CC 2017, make sure you do it. <laughs> it's really nice. So, all right, let me go up here to File, New, and I'm just going to create a document called Font. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit now. Let me go up here and show you. If I go to my fonts, I can click down here and see that I've got all these different um, options. But uh, let me go up to the A's. And you can see I don't have that font that we were looking at. So let me go back to uh, Sky Fonts. And that was here. Let's go here. And I'm going to use this ABZ. And I'm going to use Add Entire Family. Now watch this. When I click Add, Google font added to the client. I'm going to get a little notification that it's been installed. And it really doesn't take any time. There it is. Installed family. Then I go up here, drop it down, and oh, it's really going to do this to me. Works every time. There it is. Just took a second. There it is. So now I can see that if I've got the regular and italic uh, weights, and you can change that. And then I can use the font. So ABZ. Let me put it on a color you can actually see. And then we'll change it to that font. Let's go to italic. Take this off. There you go. So this works in Photoshop, After Effects, um, any of the other applications that they use. And Sky Fonts has really done a great job just making it as quick and painless as possible to install a font. So I hope this was helpful for you. And please subscribe to the channel. I'm looking forward to providing more and more videos for you guys. And um, 
if you ever have any questions, just reach out to me and let me know. You guys take care, and I'll see you in the next one.